hiking. We're such an active family. Hiking. <laughs> Sarah, please control your sister. <laughs> She's all yours now. <laughs> you married her. No. <laughs> Tara didn't have a choice, you did. <laughs> In case you didn't realise. Oh, sorry. In case you didn't realise, we're going hiking. And apparently we are going hiking eight kilometres towards the moon. Towards the moon? Up. Up a mountain. Maybe you have to press down, not up. Oh. Is that right, Tara? Eight kilometres <coughs> up? 8.8. It's 7am and that's what the family has decided to do for Mother's Day. <laughs> good morning, good morning. Mother's Day! Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. This is going in the back. Everyone's dressed so sportily and I'm just like ready for my day like normal. <laughs> He's got her German, her Deutschland Fußball Bund. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I like it too. It looks good, doesn't it? Deutschland represent. There's the car park, we've just arrived and there's all these cars backed up. Uh, so I think this is pretty popular today. Well, I think we've, we've got everything. So, 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 you say what we're doing today. So we are just at the base of Mount Warning. It's going to be about a 10 kilometer round trip. We're gonna hit the summit and then go back down. I think it's gonna take about three and a half hours to get up the top and uh, then about one and a half hours to probably oh, get yeah, back yeah, down. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's like a five hour round walk. So we're here at about eight o'clock in the morning and then hopefully we'll be back here um, for just after lunch so we can go to Mavis's kitchen, which is just down the road um, and grab a feed. Then we're gonna reward ourselves with a huge lunch, including apple crumbles and all sorts of delicious things. My first piece of advice for anyone coming to this walk is if you can go to the bathroom before you arrive, because that is a composting toilet. <laughs> I've never experienced one of those before. Kane just right. purposely peered down it. I didn't know what it was. I opened the, to the, 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 the lid of the toilet and it's like really cavernous. I was like, wow, that's crazy. And then <laughs> I looked in and I got this whoosh of like everyone's sh Oh no, he came out I like came dry out green. I feel like I've lost a lot of colour in my face. <laughs> <laughs> but apart from that, this is a great hike so far. Well, we haven't started yet. I love it. This <laughs> incline is as much as I want to go. <laughs> we have two options. The nine kilometre walk uh -huh. or the 150 metre walk. <laughs> We're doing this one, maybe. Summit track. Grade hard. Steep ascent. With many, many steps. steps. So Tara is basically a professional hiker. <laughs> um, Definitely what, wouldn't go that far. <laughs> what have you climbed? Um, Everest Base Camp. Everest. Machu Picchu. <laughs> She's, how long, how many days was that? Machu Picchu was four, five. Five days. Everest was 13. Look at her shoes. What? <laughs> 13 days? Yeah. And we're worried about like five hours. My motivation to get to the top is because I want to take my drone out and fly it because the view around here is incredible. So I'm just going to keep on going. Yeah. I'm not stopping. Keep on keeping on. I just want to reiterate this is about a 10 minute check in. Everybody is already puffing <laughs> quite heavily. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, we're probably going to have to stop and eat some widgety grubs. Yeah, we're going to have protein. to have to set up base camp. <laughs> Can you make fire? I reckon I could. From twigs? Yeah, easy. Perfect. <sighs> How you doing, baby? If I faint at any moment in this thing, <laughs> make sure you film it. <laughs> because that's going to be my clickbait. So not actually help you, just film it. Film it and then help me. Like put the camera down and then come tend to me. All right, you said it. This might be a hashtag emotional vlog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we're going to get to some deep rooted emotional feelings here. Yeah, I'm probably, I feel like I could cry in like an hour. <laughs> About an hour, an hour and a half into this, I'll probably like just start tearing up. <laughs> <laughs> start sobbing. <sighs> Meanwhile, Tara is up there setting the pace for everyone. Yeah, how on earth is a helicopter supposed to stop here? That's how they've chopped that tree off. Are you kidding me? So this is supposed to be a helipad in case 
something goes wrong with people, they can get rescued. But how on earth can a helicopter stop on this little thing? No, I reckon the helicopter comes in. Being a professional drone pilot slash helicopter pilot, <laughs> my professional opinion is that the chopper, as we call it in the industry, <laughs> is very small. Comes in, probably hovers here. Probably doesn't actually land. Really? I would say this is the foot pad for you to go into the chopper. Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. Imagine if you twisted your ankle and then you had to basically jump into a flying chopper. All right, here is where we are, checkpoint number one. We are 1.2 kilometers from the car park. We have 3.2 to go. Everybody keen, everybody ready, everybody pumped? Woohoo! Baby! <laughs> 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 well done! I'm eating an apple. I'm also allergic to apple skin. It makes my tongue swell up. So I had to eat <laughs> all around it and leave him the inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> halfway checkpoint. We've got to the point where there are now streams coming down the halfway, so it's getting a little bit slippery. But I think we're good. Everyone else seems to be fine, so I'm just gonna keep on keeping. Look at this view. Right, so we are at a helicopter pad and Kane is now going to give you some good old drone footage. Mum is killing it up this hill. Look at this. All right, we're getting pretty close to the summit here and this next part is literally a chain that we have to follow and climb all the way up to that peak there. And uh, we've got some warning signs going on now. Steep and rugged. This is a little emoji of what we'll be looking like in a minute. And it is completely freezing up here. My nose is totally frozen. But the rest of me is like kind of sweaty, so it's a very weird sensation. <laughs> okay, so I thought a minute ago that that was the steep part, but it turns out <laughs> there's like a legit rock wall that you just have to climb up. And there's no chain at this part. <laughs> We have made it to the summit. We are at the top. How are you feeling, baby? I think the hardest part is rationing a bottle of water when you don't know how long the climb is. Yeah. So I had a little bit saved just as like kind of my last drop, but I drank the water way too early. That was my problem, I think. But I feel good. Good work. I've made it, so that's oh. the main thing. Yeah, that was a big, big incline towards the end there. It was like literally rock climbing. Like you had to have your whole body down. I actually had to pack this camera away because I couldn't climb up holding the camera. Because yeah. this thing's pretty heavy. So, uh, and I didn't want to smash it against a rock. So we didn't actually get to film the most extreme part of this morning, but I'm going to show you this incredible view. <laughs> I am so proud of you. High five. Ready? Tara, head in. Oh. <laughs> We're just Man. gonna lay on the floor because this is all we can achieve. <laughs> How do I zoom oh. out on this? Here we go. Time to get back down. <laughs> so this is where we've come for lunch. Look at how beautiful this is. Ultimate Mother's Day experience. <laughs> so 
thank goodness we got this table. There was a serious... You know what? The booking was at quarter past, he just quarter said. Quarter past? Yeah. No way. Okay. And now it's 10 to... We've got the Mother's Day present. We've got Pierre and Tara. We are missing a mother. <laughs> still coming down the mountain. <laughs> She's literally still coming down the mountain. But She'll be coming down the mountain when, when she comes. comes. <laughs> <laughs> we are the worst children. <laughs> Check out how beautiful this property is. Everywhere, like this is our seat right here. And here is like a gorgeous, I think it's an orange tree. And they're just everywhere. Do you guys want to see what we got her? We got her Waterford Crystal uh, like champagne coupes. Are they called coupes or coupes? Coupes. 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 Also, I don't know what happened, but we have gained 1,400 subscribers in the last 70 hours. So, thanks. Oh, serious? Yeah. Sweet. Thanks, guys. Welcome. 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 <laughs> Check out how gorgeous this restaurant is. So that's the Queenslander right there. That's the restaurant itself. And then it's set on this beautiful hinterland property. So there's a lot of greenery all around here. You've got families having like picnics. You've got a bunch of different fruit trees. And look, look how much that is blooming. There's fruit everywhere. And the food is also amazing. So I'm very, very excited for them to get here so that we can start to eat. The special lady, the lady of the hour. Lady of the day is arriving. Good work, Mum! Here she is! <laughs> oh, I'm so proud of you! Well done! <laughs> you nailed it! How good! Oh, now we need done. to go and eat really quickly. <laughs> oh, thank you. Join us at dessert. We have profiteroles and yeah. what are these one? things called? Not pavlova, like meringue. It's a very Australian dessert. Sugar meringue with some cream with some fresh fruit and uh, passion fruit on there. It is good. I've tasted very it already. Aussie. It's very, very nice. It's right up your alley, actually. It is 7.48 in the evening and we are literally ready for bed. We are so <laughs> exhausted from today, but it was an absolutely beautiful day spent with family and mum had a great time. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.